This is the show. 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 This is and of course we know you fondly and we remember you fondly from the X Factor. Um, you think about the same person? Yeah, totally. Okay, <laughs> and of course, um, today you're in to chat about your new material, but you, you're after bringing in a lot of people and we're saying now you're on track. Who are all these people? It's <laughs> auntie and uncle and, you know, friends hi, and fanuels and, and, and uh, yeah, it's everyone really, so it's cool. I think, you know, you've got to keep your family close, don't you? Uh, definitely, your enemies even closer. <laughs> um, so who, what, what brings you to Dublin? I suppose the X Factor tour was a big... No. 98 FM. Oh. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I came down. You know what I mean? Just yeah. come and speak to you guys. Hang with us. No, I went, I went and saw the X Factor tour. Um, did you see it? No. <laughs> we didn't get tickets. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> we, we give everything away and we don't actually get it. You don't, you don't get any yourself. No. I saw the X Factor tour yesterday uh, and I uh, went backstage and met some of the guys and stuff, or well, all of the guys, and uh, just wish them good luck. And it was, it was an amazing experience. It was oh. a really good gig. And, I got to like give Cher a massive hug because I was a big Cher fan. Well, that's actually great to note that you know people who've been on the show previously still are fans of the show and, and yeah. supporting the others. Uh, what was Mary Byrne like? Our our, our, Mary our is, Irish girl. Well, she, well, she got a standing ovation. That she, when she came on that stage, she was a uh, she was amazing. You know, she's got a great voice and she was a little bit ill and she sounded amazing as well. What is it with Mary? Every time she's got a show on or something, she always go, falls poorly and we're like, poor Mary. And then they have shots of her in the X Factor feeling sick and then she suddenly gets up and she gets a standing ovation. Uh, yeah, exactly. I think that's, she's doing a story by herself just yeah. having man flu. Mary flu. <laughs> she's got Mary flu. We're going to call it that. <laughs> totally. And so tell us about your music that you've been working on a lot of stuff after the X Factor a couple of years ago. Mm. I actually was forgetting that it was two years ago, wasn't it? Was, it was. It's just it's so, it's so long. You know, if you think about what everyone else has done, you know, Jedward's done pretty cool and the whole kind of, yeah. have you had Jedward in? Have you had him in? We had them in quite a lot. Of you never get a word in Edgeworth. Oh, bless that. <laughs> there was two of them, you know. Can you tell them apart? Always confuse them, and I feel very bad. They're like, you've met so many my time, Siobhan. Why don't you know our names? I'm like, oh, sorry. Oh, Jedward. Oh, they're brilliant, though. Well, next time, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how to tell them apart very easily. Oh. I'll tell you off air though. You have a secret? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds awful. Um, yeah, so I've just been uh, working on uh, working on music for the last sort of year and a half. I've been playing gigs all around the country. I'm um, working with Stacey and Ollie and Jamie and Lucy and stuff. So I still see all oh, the guys. Right. You're still good um, mates? Yeah, I still see the guys. I was talking to Jerry not long ago and uh, he's doing really well. And, uh, you know, and obviously. Um, Jedward uh, doing pretty well doing Eurovision. <laughs> I got I got to talk about Jedward. Uh, so yeah, so and then I'm um, in the studio working with Lucy Silvers, um, a little singer um, who's an amazing idol of mine, and uh, and we're working on music starting this week. So hopefully it should be finished for the full time, and then there'll be an album out then. Can you sing something for us? Anything? I uh, what would I sing? I Just don't know. Something, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, well um, I get by with a little help. Oh uh, yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah, whatever you whatever you want to do. Okay. This is now the yeah, X Factor. Just now, isn't the it? X Factor judges. By the way, I was out last night, so this is a ropey <laughs> version of it, but like What would you do if I say out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Well, I do know. I promise. I will come back when we're going to do the album stuff. I'm going to come back and we'll do an acoustic session for you. Oh, that'd be so. Such, such and a on air as well. We'll let the listeners. Know. We'll let you. We'll let everyone listen. We'll well. listen to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not just for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I suppose since your time with the X Factor, we've discovered that you're really into Twitter. I am. I do like my Twitter. Are you a bit addicted? I'm not addicted. I, I probably get told off that I don't do it enough, but I, I do try and take loads. Of, I took loads of pictures as soon as I walked in here. Did uh, you? So I've got pictures out uh, of me standing outside of massive banners for uh, <laughs> 98 FM. So, uh, but yeah, it's um, it's one of the things. I, everyone can talk to me, and I do try and get back to as many people. I do questions oh. and answers once in the blue moon, but I do do it. And uh, and we did a twit count for our last gig um, that we did. So uh, what the hell is that? It's when you when I do a show and if you can't be at the show or you don't oh. have any money you can just watch it on your computer for free. No, that's like Easy. us because we couldn't afford to go to the X Factor tour. So, so I should have done yeah. that. Yeah. I've got some videos. I'll show you afterwards. So it's all right. <laughs> so have you abandoned the teaching? Because I know that you're a teacher. It's never abandoned. Uh, do you know what? Uh, there's loads you're of plans. Every day's a school day. Yeah, exactly. No, there is a plan to uh, to to do something um, with, with a school. Actually, um, we're going to try and put together a bit of a stage school for for talented kids in the oh, future. Yeah. So um, that's one of the main things. So exactly. Well, it's not even going to be like that. It's actually going to be uh, um, a school for kids that are great at songwriting 
and producing and, and singing. So like a kind of sort of Brit school. A good mix. Yeah. yeah. Now since your fame from the X Factor, you were at the time you were being interviewed by Same. American TV channels. <laughs> you were on YouTube or hit on yeah. YouTube, and uh, a lot of people. There's a lot of interest. And mm. um, since then, have you been recognised constantly? How has it been going? Are you okay with that? No one's no one's recognised me at all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Unique. Do you know it's quite it's quite funny. Is that a good thing? Yeah, oh, okay. and, and gorgeous and cute. <laughs> um, it's, it's early in the morning. It's fine. Um, no, um, uh, you know, yesterday we had to when we went to go see the show, we had to wait until the lights went down and then walk to my seat and then before oh. the last song, get up. <laughs> really? <laughs> and still, I still got sort of like a load of people like hey, and I was like hey. Is, so is that like, okay? Because I was out last night with Nikki Byrne from Westlife. Oh, and drop that. <laughs> <laughs> Does it get a bit much, this constant recognition? Do you know what's worse? A load of people asking you for pictures. No one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If no one asks you for a picture, you're doing something wrong at all. Oh. So uh, it was great, you know, being back. And it, it was it was quite weird because I was getting my picture taken when Matt was on stage. I was like, I don't go around. Go around and watch Matt. And, uh, you know, but everyone, you know, it's, it's a good laugh. And did you vote this year? I did. Did you? Yeah. That is so good to know. And also, what what do you think of the US X Factor? I, I believe you're featured heavily on the commercial. I know the new sh the really new commercial great. for the new American X Factor. I'm looking forward to. It. I'm looking forward to seeing who the judges are, what they're going to do, the talent stuff. I'm going to hopefully go out there and and, and, and go and uh, go and watch the show. I did. I saw American Idol last year, so I probably will go and, and check out this year's wow. talent and stuff. And what do you think? Do you think Cheryl should get the job? Because I know she's still waiting on tenter hooks. I think that um, whoever's the best person for the job should get the job. Very good political answer. So you know you're a teacher. <laughs> uh, well, listen, I, uh, do we have anything else to show? Oh, a little bit. I've got a little bit of exclusive. You might not know this, but if you're a fan of the TV show Benador. Oh, I wanted to ask yeah, you that. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Um, sorry, that's actually on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> turn over the page. Um, turn over sorry, the page. Sorry. Um, we're very excited as well for you because you, you, you are making a debut in acting. Who told you this? Uh, it's on my sheet. <laughs> Is it on your sheet? <laughs> Um, yeah, like uh, Will Young's in Bedlam and I'm in Benidorm, um, yeah, which is kind of a bit mad. It's won two amazing comedy awards at the National Winter Years, so uh, it's just it's a great honour to be in there. I think we've got great stars as Banana Rama and Scylla Black, so we you oh, know we've yeah. got stars in there. And uh, uh, unfortunately, the actor um, uh, Jeff, who plays Mel in the show, died, and uh, I sing at his wake at the end. That's uh, <gasps> and uh, that, there's <laughs> laughing going on in the studio. I'm nervous. <laughs> nervous, no, it's not. Yeah, oh. he, did, he did. Actually, died in the so no, we're bringing it. It's fine because well, like, great for you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 but anyway, but uh, yeah. So Benidorm. It starts uh, tonight. Uh, it starts on uh, yeah. It starts tonight on Friday. So um, if you can watch it every Friday until the first of April. Fantastic. Well, listen, Daniel. It's been a pleasure chatting to you. Get Daniel to give out his Twitter because I'm getting him to follow us. Ah, uh, I see this. I got you. Uh, so Daniel, what is your Twitter address? Uh, Twitter address. Do you want my home address as well? We can sort that out. Yeah, we can do that. It's 07. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, Twitter, you can get me on Daniel A. Johnson. Pretty simple. Uh, Daniel spelled D-A-N-Y-L. Don't know Fantastic. why, but it is. And uh, you also can get me on Facebook. And then I have a great fan news fan site as well, so check that out. Brilliant. And will you follow us? Um, following now. At 98FM Gossip Girl. Yeah. Do you know what? So I love 98 FM. I'm going to have to come back. Is that okay? <laughs> no. You can come back for I'm leaving days. now. <laughs> you need the door shut. Well, Daniel, we're really excited about your new album. We, uh, keep us posted on when it's going to be out. Do you reckon it's going to be in the next couple of months or weeks? or? Uh, it's going to be in the next, oh, God, uh, in the next couple of weeks. I better get my skates on. No, it'll be uh, towards sort of September time. So when American X Factor comes out. Great. Right. Brilliant. Well, listen, thanks for joining us on the show, Fish Show. Thank you very much. That was Daniel Johnson there. You know him from the X Factor fame, right? It's going to have a new album out very shortly, so watch the space. This is 98 FM. That's brilliant. Can we get a reminder yeah. for the morning crew as well? Yeah. Thanks so much. That was brilliant. Just a